Hi, this is Devashish from Sophie Digest. One second, back with another video. And in front of me, the circuit was seeing is the LM358 op amp based bistable multiparameter circuit. As you can see, I have made this circuit in a small breadboard, and you can also see the schematic on top of it. So, if you want to learn more about the topic and know this circuit's working and calculation, you can check out the given link below in the description. So that will redirect to you to a blog where I have mentioned all the details and you can go through everything about it. So as you can see we have two switches uh, S1 and S2. So these switches are used to trigger the circuit as this is a bistable multivariate circuit. We need both positive and negative trigger pulls to trigger the circuit and the other circuit uh, usually stays the same we have the smith trigger circuit comprises of r5 and r6 and we have the differentiator circuit which we have built with c2 and r4 so if when now that's cleared out so we can move on to the actual testing of the hardware for that let me move my camera to the screen of my laptop as you can see this is the screen of my laptop and if i zoom out a little bit you can see that the channel 2 of my oscilloscope is in the negative region so if i press a button if i press the positive trigger pulse then the output switches uh, to the um, positive saturation region and if I give it a negative trigger pulse it switches to the negative saturation region as you can probably hear and you have just seen the trigger pulse yep as you, as you can see the output is switching so to get a more clearer idea let me zoom in a little bit i'll set my oscilloscope to a single shot trigger mode and i have set i'll set the trigger pulse so now if i press a button the oscilloscope captured it and stored it so as you can see this is our captured signal so if I zoom in a little, yep, if I zoom in a little bit more, you can see this is how the signal looks when it's changing from positive saturation region to negative saturation region. And if I try to measure the time, it's at, it's on 34, 35 microseconds. If you, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see yep so this is a simple circuit and it's a lot useful circuit if used correctly so this is it for the video and thank you for watching